Good morning, everyone. It is the middle of the week. We are rolling. We've got lots of things going on. We're going to be doing a demo on Friday, but I've got a couple questions today in regards to finishing. Um, uh, Jason Bird, uh, he has a little um, portable shop. He worked up a trailer and he's going out carving at events and stuff. So his question is, uh, hi, Eric, uh, fast question. How fast does the, sp the spar poly dry after spraying it with the new spray gun, meaning the, the critter gun? Um, also, how many coats uh, do you put on and do you sand in between coats? So, and then there's, there's more to the question, but um, in regards to that, when I put a coat of the, the Minwax, uh, which is this stuff, but it's you know in liquid form out of the gallon can, uh, generally, I give it a day in between coats, so it won't work real well, like it won't work if you're out at an event and somebody orders a sign, you're carving a sign and they're coming back in a half hour to pick it up. It won't work for that. That's where the spray cans are going to come into play and we're going to talk about that a little bit more. Yes, I do sand in between coats. I just, uh, gosh, thought I brought that in with me, but I just used 220, just, uh, Huh? I think it's him on the other board. You think so? Uh, I just use a piece of 220 and I lightly sand it. Like for instance, if I was sanding this and I had a little piece of folded 220, I just kind of sand the surface by hand, just in between coats. It helps knock down the grain and it, it, it gives it uh, something for the new coat to adhere to. It makes a much, much better um, finished product. And you guys, I'm probably, most of you, 99% of you guys already know that. But yeah, I do uh, hand sand uh, in between coats just really, really lightly. So the second part of his question is, I normally use the, the 2X can uh, spray for gloss signs uh, as it dries went fast when I'm carving on site. But it's not la long lasting for outside signs in direct weather and, um, and the Spar Poly can is like 10 bucks a can. So uh, this stuff, uh, and he's using, I think, the Rust-Oleum version of like this. Um, I use this one. Um, so here's what I suggest, and this is what I told Jason. Um, this sign right here, you guys saw this the other day, and I had just a real quick coat. I had one coat of this on. Well, yesterday I decided to put, add two coats of this on top. So this has got three coats on it. It's got one of the Krylon and two of the spray can, uh, the Minwax. So it's obvious that the Minwax will go on just fine over the top of the Krylon. So if I was carving, when I used to carve outside, um, on site out at Oatman, what I would do is I would put a coat of this on and then I told them, hey, go to Walmart and buy another can of this and just keep putting coats on until the can is gone and you'll be fine. Well, I found out since then that this stuff doesn't work really good for outside. It doesn't last that long. So here's what I'm suggesting now. If I were doing it carving on site now, I would do the same thing. I would put a coat of this on because it dries really fast, seals it up. And then I would show them this can and say, go to uh, Home Depot or Lowe's and get a can of this and just keep putting coats on until the can is gone. This will make it last much, much longer than this. So the combination of these two finishes have worked just fine for me on this piece of pine. I can't guarantee that it will work on whatever wood you're using. All I know is that this sign has one of these and two of these and uh, it looks just fine. So um, that would be my suggestion to Jason and to anybody that's carving on site is put a coat of this on for fast dry to seal it up and then uh, have a can of this to show to your customer and say, hey, you know, take a snapshot with your phone or whatever, but pick up a can of this stuff, or you can pick up this in the liquid and brush coats on either way, but it should go on just fine over the top of the Krylon. Anyway, that would be my suggestion, and uh, that's what I told Jason. So, uh, next a question, and it has to do with the same kind of thing. Uh, Brad McGurk said, I made a sign with uh, out of 1x12 Select Pine. 
I used cedar stain and four coats of Minwax Helmsman <laughs> urethane out of the spray can. Recently, it was hanging outside on its stand in a heavy rainstorm. Shortly after the rain, I noticed the sign was cupping pretty badly. Is four coats not enough? It was sealed uh, front, back, and all four edges. So, this spray nozzle, I, I, and I answered him back, and the, the quick version is, no, it's not enough. This spray nozzle goes on so, and honestly on both of these, goes on so fine a mist, and it's so light of spray, that um, it probably would take 10 coats of this to equal one brush coat, or now you guys know I use the, the critter gun and one coat spray with this probably is equal to about 10 coats of this. So if you're gonna just use the spray can, which I don't recommend, uh, you know, before I got the critter gun, I was putting one or two coats of this and then I would put a couple uh, brush coats on top of that. And again, one, about 10 coats of this equals, in my, in my opinion anyway, equals about one brush coat. So four coats of this definitely is not enough for an exterior finish um, to last in any kind of weather uh, at all. So um, I answered him back, but again, my process now is I, I just, I don't even use the spray can anymore. Now I'm using the critter gun like you guys saw last Friday, Friday I think. Um, and uh, it's cheaper, it's, it's better all the way around. So, um, but if you still want to use, uh, if you don't have the critter gun, again, my suggestion is one or two coats of this and then put, um, put some brush coats on, at least two brush coats, and that should be plenty for outside. So, uh, all of this has to do kind of with finishing. So, I hope that kind of answers some questions and helps you guys out in your kind of trying to figure out your finishing process. I have one note. Please, if you guys have any questions or anything that I can help with, um, don't leave me messages in Facebook. I, I check my messages in, in Facebook very rarely now just because I get so many emails. But if you send me an email, eric at makerwoodsign.com, I answer those every day. I generally do it in the morning. So if you send it in the afternoon, most cases I'll send you a, a, a answer back the next morning, but almost always within a day. So uh, that's the way to communicate with me best. Um, sign carvers of the day, let's move on to that. We have Michael Perkinson, is one of his very first signs, which is pretty darn impressive for a first sign. You can see he got kind of confused a little bit on the on the apostrophe, which is really easy to do. I think he started making it inset and then realized and then uh, went outset with it. But, uh, you know, that's it's very, unique. very minor. But great job. The next sign is a very first sign from James Clark. This is for his brother. Wow, first Which sign. is pretty incredible for a first sign. I love it. That's really a cool. Oh, that's cool. That's really a cool uh, bass with the dragonfly there. Now, in regards to this, we have one more uh, piece of business. One of uh, you guys that have been watching for a while. Last year, I did a collaboration with uh, Justin Rackley. He is Lake Fork guy, and you guys might remember this sign. I think it was May or June of last year. And uh, I just got a call uh, yesterday or the day before, and Justin is, uh, he's got a really big channel. If you like fishing, bass fishing specifically, you gotta go check this guy out. Uh, amazing stuff. Um, uh, but he's having some issues, some health issues. He's got a brain tumor, and uh, it looks as though right now it's benign, but they're gonna, you know, he's going through a lot of tests and trying to figure out what they're gonna do right now. So he could definitely use your prayers. The other issue is that um, it turns out that his insurance, uh, health insurance, isn't what he thought it was, and they're having some really, real, real issues there. It may turn out that they don't have any insurance at all, and you can imagine the the doctor bills. So what we have done, what the, not we, what they have done is they've set up and uh, um, kind of a, a, a way to help them with their 
uh, with their medical bills. And this is something, I don't know who did this, but this is a shirt. I bought one of these shirts. It's 25 bucks for this shirt. And uh, that will definitely help them out um, with their their rising medical costs and what a cool logo. I don't know who drew this thing, but um, I ordered one of the shirts for 25 bucks and uh, their website where you can go and look at these shirts if you want to, uh, if you want to help Justin and, and Stephanie, his wife, if you want to help them out, this is their website, makeeverycastcount.com. And uh, I, you'll see that shirt. I'll be wearing that shirt sometime soon. I ordered it last night, and it's on the way. But uh, whether you can help monetarily or not, um, prayers are definitely, um, definitely appreciated. So um, I, he's just a, he's a great guy. We've been in touch a little bit. Uh, he has some uh, amazing followers and huge, huge channel, huge fans, and just a, a terrific guy. Um, so. Um, your prayers would be appreciated for all of those that you that will. And uh, if you want to uh, donate monetarily, uh, pick up one of his shirts. I just I love that shirt. I can't wait to show it on the channel. Anyway, that's uh, th that's that. You'll probably go check out his channel, and he's got uh, he does daily vlogs on uh, the ongoing uh, issues that he's having. And um, anyway, I just I, I think the world of Justin is just a great guy, and uh, gave me a great shout out last year. Um, anyway, that is it for today. Um, Friday we'll have a demo. Not sure exactly what it's going to be, but we're definitely going to be doing a demo on Friday. So hope everybody, hope this was helpful to everybody. Please get back to me uh, on my email, eric at makeawoodsign.com. Uh, if I can answer any questions for you or be of any help, we appreciate it. And everybody have a great week and we'll see you on Friday. Bye.